It's Monday, March 3rd, 2008, and you are watching The Ointment. I'm Steve Tatum, and remind me, I've got to cancel my vacation plans to Ecuador. It's March now, and March is Chronic Fatigue Syndrome Awareness Month, and this week also marks the beginning of Federal Employees Awareness Week, and you know that the two go together if you've ever been to the post office. Our top story is international news. The results are in from the elections in Russia, and Russia has a new leader. His name is Dmitry Medvedev, and he is Vladimir Putin's hand-picked successor. He cruised to an easy victory, and cruise is the right word. Look at these two. They cruise together a lot, I think. I mean, they couldn't look more gay if they were wearing LeMay. Dmitry said he will work closely with Vladimir. Yes, so closely they will be attending Bette Midler's new show in Vegas together. Do these guys know that presidents wear suits and ties and not leather and chaps? In domestic political news, feminist icon Gloria Steinem lashed out at Senator John McCain belittling his experience in a Vietnamese prisoner of war camp. She said, in order to be president of the United States, the experience that counts is not being held prisoner. Just ask George Bush, the experience that counts is holding others prisoner in Guantanamo Bay. In other news of the presidential election, Florida's Governor Charlie Crist apparently, and this is a totally unsubstantiated rumor that I'd like to spread, made a deal with the McCain campaign. He endorsed McCain in exchange for consideration that he'd be McCain's running mate. Now, I find this very hard to believe because McCain does not make deals with people that are not telecommunications lobbyists. In news of the war in Afghanistan, Prince Harry of England has been serving as a soldier since December in the war. There was a news blackout, but now that has been broken open and he's going to have to go back to the UK. By the way, Prince Harry says in his statement, he doesn't like England so much. I guess now we know why there was a news blackout. They don't want him to talk much. Harry, now that you've said you don't like England that much, I'm sure the feeling is mutual. And finally, in entertainment news, entertainer Michael Jackson is going into foreclosure on his home at Neverland Ranch. Who would have guessed that Michael Jackson would have got caught up in this whole subprime lending scandal? Yes, he apparently got a very bad loan, which if he pays it, will cost him an arm and a leg. And that's only after he's paid substantial chunks of his face. That's the ointment for another day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum, and that's news. Catch you tomorrow, everybody.